Taylor Swift was still in love even though the lover phase was over. Almost a year into her fast-paced relationship with Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, the normally calm singer started to hum a new tune, the tune of Wedding Bells. This is what was making her heart beat a little faster while she waited for a proposal. Reason 1, The Songbird and the Jock is a strange fairy story. It could have been written better in Hollywood. A pop star and an athlete star crossed paths at a charity event. With Travis' easy charm and surprisingly deep talks about music, it turned out he was a secret Taylor Swift fan, Taylor, who is a hopeless romantic at heart, fell in love. Travis knew he'd met the one because he liked how Taylor was so down to earth and how her eyes lit up when she talked about her music. Taylor hadn't planned to date an athlete, but Travis broke all the rules. He was smart, funny, and interested in her work, which was very different from some of the self-centered men she'd met before. This love story came out of the blue and made her heart sing a new happy tune. A proposal seemed like the right power ballad to end the first part of this unlikely fairy tale. The rock star life versus the family man, it was exciting to be on stage, but lately the crowd's roar has felt a little empty. Taylor wanted to feel normal, and Travis, with his close-knit family and traditional beliefs, embodied that. She had imagined herself getting married and having kids one day, and Travis seemed like the right person for that. When they went to Kansas City, she would play board games with his brother Jason and his cute sister in the evenings. Seeing how well Travis got along with his family made her want him more. For Travis, a ring would be more than just jewelry. It would be a promise of forever, a chance to start a family, and a harmony that was stronger than any reward. Third reason, the new chapter is calling, the blank page writer's block was the worst thing for songwriters, and Taylor's page has been stubbornly blank lately. Events like award shows and tours that were sold out were becoming normal. It looked like she had lost the spark that drove her music, the longing and heartbreak that gave birth to her biggest hits. Then, something happened during a late-night talk with Travis. He talked about his hope to start a fund for young people. Taylor got the idea for a song from his love for using their fame to give kids power. All of a sudden, the melody came out and the words danced on the page, breaking through the writer's block. Travis's ring wasn't just about them, it stood for the beautiful future they could build together, one full of music, charity, and maybe, just maybe, a duo for all time. The wait for the ring got a little worse every day, but Taylor knew in her heart that when Travis finally proposed, the song she would write about it would be her best work to date. The stadium lights went out, and the loud cheers of the fans turned into a happy hum. It was impossible to look away from Taylor Kelsey as she watched her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, lift the Super Bowl trophy for the third time. This win felt different. Her heart was beating quickly against her ribs, which was very different from the normal happy celebration. Tonight, she felt a strong mix of pride and a deep-seated fear. The first reason was that the clock was running out. Even though a year wasn't very short, it seemed like a blink when they were dating in the spotlight. Timer going off. People in society were talking about her behind her back, and tabloids were making up stories about her. When Taylor wrote music, she wrote about love and heartbreak, but she wanted a different story for this part. A proposal would put an end to any doubts and paint a bold, lasting picture of their love story. The second reason is the song. Travis, bless his sweet, blank mind, had no idea. During their date in Paris, under the bright lights of the Eiffel Tower, Taylor played a mashup at her concert, The Alchemy, a song that was said to be about him, mixed with the love-filled tune of Treacherous. After the crowd roared, Travis, who was always good at making people like him, blew her kisses from the crowd, a silly grin on his face. Are we happy, baby, or are we just dancing with disaster, was the clear meaning of the song. The question kept going through her mind. The answer is a ring, a promise written in gold. Third reason, the way he looked at her. Travis finally got to her box after the game, when everyone was having a good time. His usual cocky swagger was toned down, and he was instead shy and gentle, which made her jump. He held her face against his and looked at her with a depth she hadn't seen before. You inspire me, Taylor, he said in a low voice that showed how he felt. At that very moment, she could see a bright future ahead of her. She longed so much to build a future with him, one beautiful brick at a time. 
Late that night, Taylor held Travis close while they were in their private jet. The lights of the city below sparkled, just like her hope. Travis fell asleep, and as she held her finger to his strong jaw, she wished he could see the forever she imagined. The ring wasn't just a sign, it was a way to get to tomorrow and a song they could write together. And Taylor, who is great at telling stories, was ready to write a love song that people would all over the world remember. Taylor could see the sparkling butterflies dancing across her vision as she swayed in her Nashville studio to the music. Still, the lyrics that came out were a mess, they didn't have the normal smooth flow. She kept tapping her fingers on the armrest in a tense beat. Travis. Almost a year. Why? Three reasons. The first reason is stability. There were tours, award shows, and recording events all the time in Taylor's life. Because he trained regularly during the off-season, Travis was a calm presence in her crazy life. He didn't move when cameras flashed or get starstruck by how famous she was. Taylor was the woman he saw. She sang catchy songs but wanted a quiet Tuesday night with food and a movie. Second reason, to laugh. He could turn a bad batch of cookies into a funny skit, and her kitchen could hear his loud laugh. He got her silly references and how her childhood dreams were woven into her songs. She felt like she was in one of her favorite teenage love songs when she was with Travis. There were sneaky looks, muttered jokes, and the thrilling feeling of being seen. Third, the us in always. Travis wasn't scared to show his weakness. He told Taylor about his worries as a child and the stress of the game with such trust that Taylor was left gasping for air. At award shows, he cheered her on with eyes that were as bright as the lights. In a world that felt like it was all about transactions, Travis saw forever in her eyes, and she saw the same thing in his. They saw a future that they had not only dreamed of, but also built together. The song finally made sense. It wasn't a pop anthem, it was a heartfelt ballad with a melody that sounded like the safety and happiness of their love story. Taylor let out a tear as the last note faded. If you're not with Travis, a year might not seem like a long time. There may not have been only one happily ever after, but she really wanted him to write that line with her. Travis popped his head in with a silly grin on his face and her favorite flower, a bunch of sunflowers. The door had just creaked open. The song seemed to answer the question she didn't say, their forever was already starting. Taylor stomped her fingers on the tour bus's seat while she looked out the window and saw the scenery blur. Fans holding signs of love were everywhere she looked. It was a sea of love that could never fail to touch her heart. She was otherwise happy, but a small fear kept her down. Travis, her rock star boyfriend, had been great. His contagious joy was the perfect balance to the times she felt down. But after a year, rumors about when had started to overshadow the how of their relationship. The first reason came from a talk that was long forgotten. It was after their first silly date, when they bumped into each other and laughed nervously. It was Travis who said, look, I may not be a prince, but I know how to treat a queen. Taylor told him, maybe this queen just wants a forever kind of love, this made her feel good. Then his smile broke, and she couldn't make out the shadow that crossed his eyes. This image kept coming back to her, like a silent question mark. Second, she could hear a tune over and over in her heart. This relationship felt different from the ones she had before. Easy to do. Interesting. There were a lot of song ideas, and the words had a new sense of hope. She imagined a future full of laugh lines and shared hopes, and she thought that it would always start with a ring. What scared me the most was the third reason. A cruel rumor in a tabloid that promised to ruin their happiness. Is Taylor lying about the ring? Kelsey feels cold. It hurt because it was so rude. Timelines hadn't even been brought up. Still, the seed of doubt was planted. Travis, did you see the same thing for them? Didn't a year suffice for him? Taylor put her dress back in place as the bus pulled up to the next venue. She looked at him with hard eyes. Even though she loved Travis, love stories needed to be clear. Tonight, in front of everyone, she would sing a song with a message hidden in the tune and a question that only he could understand. Since time would not wait, neither would she.